okay then um, the theorem we will look into the theorem preservation of compact sets okay uh, what is the statement let okay uh, let f is a function from a to r b continuous continuous function on a and if k is a subset of a is compact then f of k is compact as well okay so it, it means that the compact compactness is preserved under continuous functions that is if we take any compact set k subset of a then uh, and f is a continuous function then f of k is also compact okay we will uh, look into proof okay proof so what we need to prove that our claim is that f of k is compact we have to prove that f of k is compact okay now from the definition of compact set a, co a set is compact k if a k is uh, as we know from the statement of the theorem k is a compact set k is a compact set from the definition of compact set uh, it, it says that if every sequence in k has a subsequence that converges to a limit that is also in uh, k okay uh, if a set is compact then if we take any arbitrary sequence in k has a subsequence that converges to a limit that is also in that will be also in k okay so uh, in order to prove that f of k is compact we have to we want to if we take a uh, arbitrary sequence in f of k then we must find a subsequence which converges to a limit that is also in f of k okay so uh, we take um, for this claim okay we take any arbitrary sequence in f of k okay so let y n sequence y n is contained in f of k is a sequence in f of k uh, which is an arbitrary uh, sequence okay so uh, we we need to find that uh, there is an arb uh, there is a subsequence uh, y n k of this sequence which converges to a limit point that is also in f of k okay uh, since uh, this uh, sequence y n is a subset of f of uh, c since this sequence is in f of k for each n for each n belongs to capital n we can find at least one x n in k such that f of x n is equal to y n since y n is a sequence in f of k and f of k means that range of k so uh, so if we take any um, any n for any n we can find at least one x n in k such that f of x n is equal to y n so uh, these terms yield a sequence okay this yields a sequence x n subset of k x n subset of and we know that k is a compact set we know that k is a compact set and sequence xn is a sequence in k so from the definition of compactness uh, this sequence has a convergence subsequence which has a limit that is also in k so this sequence has a convergence subsequence xn k such that 
x is the limit, if x is the limit of sequence x and k, then this x is an element of k. These things we know since k is a compact set. Okay. Now, it is given that f is a continuous function, continuous function on A. So, it is continuous at x also since k is a subset of A, since k is a subset of A and x is an element of uh, k, x is an element of A, since f is continuous on A implies f is continuous at x. So, okay, then and also we know that x and k converges to x. So, by the property of continuous function, we know that f of x and k converges to f of x. But, we know x is an element in k. So, where will be f of x? f of x is an element of f of k. So, what do we get? We, uh, we take an arbitrary sequence y n. y n. We get a subsequence of y n that is y n k which converges to f of x and that f of x is an element in f of k. So, what does this mean? It means that f of k is a compact set. f of k is compact set. f of k is compact because we take an arbitrary sequence in f of k and find a convergent subsequence so that the limit point of that convergent uh, subsequence is also belong to f of k. So, uh, f of k is uh, means compact. So, hence the theorem. So, compactness is preserved under continuous functions that is the preservation of compact sets.